Okay then, so now we have all of this offline functionality for our app. We have offline assets like pages, images, and CSS, but also access to offline data now, which is really cool. So the next step is to then deploy this to Firebase so it can be hosted online. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. But first of all, to do this, you're gonna need Node.js installed on your computer. So to get that, head over to nodejs.org and click on this button, go through the installation steps, and then you should have Node installed on your computer. Now to check that it's worked properly, open up a terminal and just type in node-v, and if it gives you back a version number, it means it's installed correctly. Okay then, so if we go over to our app at the back end and then go to hosting over here, then we're gonna see get started, click on that, this is the first step. We have to install Firebase tools globally on our computer. So just copy this and paste it in your terminal over here and press enter and that will install this package globally on your computer. Now I've already done that so I'm not gonna do it again. But once you've done that, the next step if we continue is to log in to the service. Now you just type out here Firebase login and press enter and that's gonna throw up a little pop-up so you can log in. Now again, I've already done this so I don't need to do it again. But now the next step if we go back over here is to initialize a new project, a new Firebase project inside our application over here. So that I am gonna do. So make sure you're in the correct directory. I am PWA tutorial, that's my folder over here. Then we say Firebase init to initialize this new project. Now I'm gonna move this up here so we can see a bit more of it. Are you ready to proceed? Yep. And then it's gonna ask us which services we want. Now, we just want hosting. Yeah, we've used the Firestore, but we've already set that up on the back end over here. We don't need to do anything else over there. So I'm just gonna say hosting for now. And by the way, you select that using spacebar, then press enter to select it. And it's gonna ask us to link up with a particular back end project. Now we created one called Food Ninja PWA over here on Firebase. So select that, and then it says, what do you want to use as your public directory? This will be the folder we deploy. I'm just gonna leave it as default, which is public. Do you want to configure this as a single page app? No, we don't. And then this has initialized now. So when we deploy this in a second, what's gonna happen is everything inside this public folder will be deployed. And notice it's already given us a 404 page right here and an index page. These are dummy pages. Now we don't want the index page, first of all, so I'm gonna actually delete that. And I also want to put everything that we want to deploy inside this public folder so that it gets pushed up to Firebase hosting. So first of all, we want the index file that we created inside that. Then we want the manifest.json file inside that. We want our service worker inside that as well. And also all of these folders. So CSS and then image and also JS and pages. Now I, for some reason, have trouble putting any kind of image folder into another folder in VS Code like this. So what I'm gonna actually do is just pause this now and go to the folder where it's kept and do it that way. Okay then, so now everything is inside this public folder that we want to deploy. We don't have to worry about these being inside the public folder. These are just some files that Firebase created for us when we initialized the project. So now what we need to do is just say Firebase deploy, like so, press enter. That's gonna take this public folder and push it up to Firebase hosting on the back end. And in a second down here, we're gonna see that this has worked. So now we get a hosting URL, but also if we go to our project over here and refresh on the hosting page, we should see this deployment over here in a second as well. So we can see this is our domain over here. So we see this deployment as well right here. And what I'm gonna do is just open this up in a browser by clicking this, and we should see this in a browser now. Inspect it, and everything has been deployed. So everything works, the about page, the contact page, etc. the home page. Let me just try adding a new item over here, Ninja Smoothie, and we'll put in banana, and orange, and lemon, Press add, and this still works. Try deleting it, still works, awesome. So there we go, my friends. Now we have deployed our application to Firebase Hosting. If you wanna learn more about Firebase Hosting, I've got a whole series on my channel about this, so I'll leave a link to that series down below.